I am reading a report from the Deccan Chronicle. Please listen to it. An interesting write-up. Report. Gita Arthashastra to enter military officers curriculum. Attempt to introduce indigenous perspective in training. Indian armed forces are considering introducing Bhagavad Gita and Kautilya's Arth Shastra as part of the curriculum for officers, Army and Air Force sources confirmed on Saturday. Inspired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's call, the Secunderabad Headquartered College of Defense Management has started research on ancient Indian texts that are relevant to modern warfare and military statecraft and has recommended two ancient scripts, Bhagavad Gita and Arthashastra. Bhagavad Gita is a treasure trove of wisdom and insight into military doctrine, strategies, and morality of war and life. They will give an indigenous perspective to our officers and jawans to apply in complex modern warfare, said a senior officer based in the army headquarters in Delhi. Arth Shastra is one of the many wonderful texts of ancient India and brings insight into the complex interplay of politics, military thinking, and intelligence. Two senior officers speaking on condition of anonymity confirm that the broad conceptual and research work is ongoing but refuse to give specific details. It is an ongoing project. We cannot confirm either when this curriculum will go live or if it would be initiated, in which academy or course or for whom. They said, Air Vice Marshal Pavan Mohe, the commandant of CDM, when reached out to, was not willing to speak to the media. Lieutenant General Anil Bhatt, who formerly served as general officer commanding corps and director general of military operations, speaking with Deccan Chronicle, said that eventually this rich training framework must extend to all levels from entry officer level at the NDA or IMA to higher levels of warfare training. In select armed forces circles, both serving and retired, the issue has started getting discussed, largely with a welcoming outlook, despite some doubts outside the Indian military about the motivation and implications of the move. A few retired officers expressed doubts about the impact of the move. As Pakistan learned in 1971, it was defeated because it was a secular Indian army. The fear. But no definite reply has come, has come from the right source. So we have to wait and see what happens in our country. India is a big country of 130 crore people. There are different religious people. So many things will be considered before implementing anything in our country. It will happen. There cannot be any doubt about it. 
that is what we think we have to be patient the election time is also there so any rhetoric that comes during the election time should be ignored i think our friends will understand this there is no point in criticizing any outburst of any communal element to whichever religion he may belong particularly at the time of elections election mania is there you must understand this and act and indian muslim community should be very careful in expressing their views because people want to magnify their remarks to the level unheard of unseen before hence we must be careful we should not give room to anybody to make our views distorted and placed before the country for political exploitations you must understand this again i repeat you must be patient in expressing our views particularly at the time of the elections the forthcoming election in uttar pradesh will create so many things let us not be perturbed indian people are peace loving we must give importance to the spirit of the people we know indian people we are indians and why we should be afraid of anything that is given in a distorted way in an ambiguous way in panjashir fell celebratory firing kills 17 people at least 17 people were killed in celebratory gun fire in kabul news agency said on saturday after taliban sources said their fighters had seized control of panjashir the last province in afghanistan holding out against the islamist group some reports said that dead include children leaders of opposition to the taliban have denied that the province has fallen while taliban sources claimed they now control the entire afghanistan the shamshad news agency said aerial shooting in kabul on friday killed 17 people and wounded 41 tolo news agency gave a similar toll at least 14 people were injured in celebratory firing in nangarhar province east of the capital said gulzada sangar spokesman for an area hospital in the provincial capital of jalalabad the gunfire drew a rebuke from the main taliban spokesman zabihullah mujahid the gunfire drew a rebuke from the main taliban spokesman zabihullah mujahid avoid shooting in the air and thank god instead mujahid said in a message on twitter bullets can harm civilians so don't shoot unnecessarily chief minister mr mk stalin announced the removal of the 1% market entry tax level on cotton and waste cotton acceding to the long time demand of entrepreneurs and weavers bjp slams javed akhtar for comparing rss with taliban bharatiya janata party on saturday slammed lyricist and film writer javed akhtar 
for comparing the Rashtriya Swayam Sang with the Taliban. The BJP sought an apology from Mr. Akhtar and asked him to withdraw his statement. The party also threatened to not allow Mr. Akhtar and his family members movies till he apologized. In an interview on Friday, Mr. Akhtar had said that the Taliban are barbaric. Their actions are reprehensible. But